Hey Facebook, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Brunch Break episode 37. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about trying and doing and what the difference is. And if you are feeling like you keep trying things and trying new things and nothing ever works and you feel like you're not getting anywhere, this is the episode for you. Welcome to Brunch Break. My name is Bethany Steck Janacek, also known as Mrs. Love Chard, and I come here to you on the Love Chard page every single Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time to share with you my journey of towards optimal health, my 80 pound weight loss, my overcoming emotional eating journey, and everything else that falls in between that. So thanks so much for joining. Holla to the live viewers. If you're here, comment below so I can make sure that the comments are coming through. One of the last episodes, I saw all the comments after the video, they didn't come up on the screen. So if you're here, shoot me a hello, good morning in the comments so I can welcome you and make sure that the comments are coming through. All right, so the title of this video, right? If you are trying new things and thinking that you're not getting anywhere, what can we do, right? So first and foremost, I wanna talk a little bit about the difference between trying and doing because it's a, it's a, a totally different mindset as well. I think for, I'm speaking generally here. Um, I think generally it is a, a little bit of a different mindset between trying and doing. For example, um, when I was little, I hated all vegetables. I hated anything healthy. And, you know, my mom would always have me try stuff. Why don't you try peas or try tomatoes or something? And I was like, oh, fine, you know, shove one bite in my mouth, pain the whole way through it and you know spit it out and um i tried it i didn't like it um i i have this memory of i don't know why i'm sharing this but i have this memory of of green peas and i would spoon i would take my spoon and just put them under the table like a spoonful of peas flick them under the table spoonful of peas flick them under the table no one ever said anything like my mom's never like why are all these peas under here like no one said anything <laughs> but anyway um the difference between trying and doing, right? So we want to have an open mindset of like, we're actually going to do something. Because if I say like, well, I'll try it and like see how it goes. <clears throat> I'm talking like um, committing to making a lifestyle change, right? <clears throat> Hi, Natalie. Hey, Jennifer. If we're thinking like, we'll just try it and see how it goes. There's already not too much commitment in that phrase, in that mindset, in that like, eh, I guess I'll try it. Like, why guys, why do I have to lose it? Like, we don't have a very solid reason why we're doing it. We're like, well, I'll try it, right? So I want to really transition you if you are a trier of things once or twice, but not no more than that. <clears throat> we really have to start doing things and making it a routine and making it normal. For example, when you were learning to ride a bike, right? And you fell off like the first five times. Are you like, screw this. I'm never going to ride a bike again. This is crap. I don't know. I can't do it. No, you kept going on it until you knew how to ride a bike. And then the training wheels came off and then you fell a few more times, but you kept doing it, right? You didn't just try riding a bike once, fall off and then say, I'm never going to ride a bike again. Same with like tying our shoes, right? I didn't know how to tie my shoes at first, but I learned and now I know how to do the loop, swoop and pull, right? We learn and we learn by doing things over and over and over and over until they are a normal and we don't have to think about doing them. We don't have to try to do it anymore. We're just doing it like it's a natural thing, right? We don't think about, um, Gosh, would be not, I guess the, the bike riding one is a really good one or even driving a car or learning how to, you know, um, write our names or how to read, right? We have to give ourselves ample time and actually keep doing things. I use this analogy all the time. It is like um, you're building a quilt and you have to have a lot of little patches to make the quilt. You have different patterns, you have different stitches, you have different pieces of fabric. And a lot of little of those put together makes one big quilt. Uh, we can't make one big quilt with one tiny piece of fabric that we just tried. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making any sense this morning. Um, <clears throat> but really the mindset shift of, of not just giving something a try, but actually committing. And I think that there's a big, um, a big difference mindset wise, especially when we start to think about a new lifestyle or a, a diet change or something. I hate the, 
the way that society has made this word diet, right? Diet just means the food that we eat, right? It's a whole food plant-based diet. That doesn't mean restriction, but society has told us that it is. Um, anyway, so when we're thinking of making a new, a new change, right? More vegetables or more whole foods or more plants or, you know, uh, less of the junk, less fast food, less cheese sticks, less all of that, right? Um, we have to make a decision to commit to doing it. Yes, we're still kind of trying, but the shift is in the commitment to actually do the thing and to follow through with it. Because, you know, trying things once or twice is not, again, generally, generally enough time for you, your body, your taste buds, your mindset to really go, yes, awesome. I mean, sometimes we try, we do something for the first time and we're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm going to incorporate this in my life forever, right? Sometimes we, we hit those jackpots on the first try, but most of the time, and especially in a lifestyle change where you are completely overhauling your nutrition and you're going like me from donuts and Cheetos to salads and soup, it's a big change. That's a big change. And when I changed my lifestyle, I wasn't just trying things temporarily. I was all in and I was doing it. And I kept doing it and I kept doing it and I kept doing it. So this difference between try and do. Are you just going to try something once and if it doesn't work, you know, throw the towel in? Or are you going to do something, make it a new normal and get to where you want to go? We, um, we want to keep opening up our our um our perspectives and our um looking for the looking for the opportunities for us to make change and if they're not there then create them you know what i'm saying like if you're like i just don't like salads that's okay that's valid you probably don't like salads right now but what are you gonna do so that you can learn to love salads because we know how healthful they are. They're filled with vegetables and plants. They aid in accelerated weight loss, right? They're so good for us. So it's okay that you don't like them right now, but what are you going to do to get to really loving salads, making it a new normal, not having to try having it just be something that is part of your everyday life, right? But we have to do them in order to get there. And there's that uncomfortable stage in between, right? It's the uncomfortableness of, of change. Change is uncomfortable. I'm not going to say that it, it's a total, you know, walk in the park, but it is, um, it's uncomfortable. And we have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable in order to get to where we want to go. We have to get comfortable being uncomfortable to get to where we want to go, right? Um, you know, I'll end with this, right? We all have um, <clears throat> we all have priorities and we all have the same amount of time in the day. So what are you going to do with your time? Not what are you going to try with your time? What are you going to do with the hours in the day that you have? What are you going to do? What action steps are you going to take so that you can reach where you want to go? If it's weight loss, if it is a disease reversal or prevention, if it is increased energy, if it is less bloated inflammation, Whatever it is, what now back that up, we know what we want and why we want it, right? What things are we going to put in place then so that we can get there, right? And I think the, I'll, I'm going to talk about the stages of change in another um, video, probably this week or next week, but, um, um, you know, we make change when we, when the pain of where we're at right now is much bigger than the uncomfortable feeling. For example... When I was 230 something pounds, overweight, obese, morbidly obese, right? Um, emotional eater, I hated looking at myself in the mirror. I had no self-esteem. I was huffing and puffing up the stairs, tying my shoes, couldn't breathe, right? Having trouble getting out of bed and getting out of my car. The All of that pain finally got bigger than the thought of me having to cut vegetables, right? The pain of all of that stuff finally got bigger and it outweighed any of the thoughts of uncomfortable change or I have to eat vegetables and salads and I, I'm going to have to work out. I don't really want to do that, right? That's when change happens is when where we're at is so uncomfortable and it outweighs any pains of what you could go through to change to not feel that way anymore. Does that make sense? So um, think of any of your pushbacks 
for why you're not making a change or if you are making changes what struggles and obstacles are in your are in your way maybe you're maybe you're thinking i hate salads or i'm so picky i just don't like any vegetables okay is the pain of where you're at right now why why ever you want to make a lifestyle change whatever that reason is is that pain of where you're at right now worse than the thought of trying new vegetables and warming up to them because if it is that's when we make change you want to get out of where you're feeling so bad that you'll cut the vegetables you'll eat the tomatoes you'll you'll eat more food you'll move your body more You'll commit to, you know, a support group or to, to a coach or to a program or something like that, right? So it's when that pain of where we are at right now is so much, so unbearable that we are, are making that change. All right, I'll leave you guys with that. If you guys have any questions or um, comments or anything, please share below. If you would like additional support, guidance, tools, accountability, and all that, please shoot me a message on the Love Chart page or an email at bethany at lovechart.com. Uh, Facebook locked me out of receiving and sending messages to new people for some reason. I'm on a temporary block. I'm in Facebook jail. Um, so if you have anything, send me a message on the Love Chart page. I can still receive them there. Um, I one-on-one -on -one coach for a living. I also have a monthly membership site. So either of those would be great for someone who is really wanting additional support. Guidance, tools, accountability, videos, Q&As, self-paced courses, recipes, delicious food. Um, it's just a matter of what level of support that you would like. So please let me know. And I am open. I'm an open book. I am here to help you get to get you to where you want to go. So have a great Tuesday, guys. We'll see you next week for brunch break at 11 o'clock here on the Love Chart page. Have an awesome week, guys. Bye.